Hello there everyone, my name is Silverlink and this is the product you've all been waiting for. This is the StreamUp Cards Against Humanity widget. So let's get started. Cards Against Humanity a widget will be downloadable from our StreamUp.tips website. But as you can see at the moment of recording, uh, it isn't up yet. But uh, when this video will go live, it will be there. And per usual, the widget will be available for free. Before we continue, you need to have the following prerequisites installed. It's the StreamUp OBS plugin, OBS WebSocket plugin, the Move Transition, Shader Filter, and the Interfont family. Last one isn't a uh, OBS plugin, but it's a font that's used in the Cards Against Humanity cards. All these uh, prerequisites have a download link available in the description and uh, in the zip file provided by us. And they should have a video on how to install plugins to your OBS uh, in this channel. And if you got any other questions, just uh, hit them uh, in the comment section below. All right, after downloading and extracting the folder, you're gonna go to the download and install these first folder. You see the interfont family uh, file. Double click it and open. Uh, it will open with your favorite browser. In my case, I'm going to open it with Edge. After that, you go to this website and click the download button. After downloading, uh, you're gonna open the zip file. You see a lot of stuff and things. Just extract the inter desktop folder to a location to you, where you can easily find it. I'm gonna extract it, extract it to stream up recording area. After that, I'm going to close the zip file. I'm going to go to the folder, not that one, this one. And we'll see the inter desktop folder. You see all these fonts and uh, yeah, we're going to install them. So after uh, that, I'm going to go to your start, type font, and you'll see font settings. This uh, brings up a nice little uh, panel and you just select all your fonts and drag and drop them onto the drag and drop to install area. In my case, it will show that it's already installed. Uh, so I'm going to install it and override it. And you see a little progress bar. Uh, and after that, uh, if it's full, your fonts are installed. All right, next up is uh, we're going to install our scenes into OBS. I'm going to assume that you already installed all the plugins uh, into OBS. So we're going to Tools, Stream Up, and it should give us a pop-up window. Go to the uh, Stream Up Cards Against Humanity folder and click on the Stream Up file. It should load everything up in OBS. It should look completely blank, but it really it isn't. Uh, but you can test things out if it's working. Uh, if it if you right click and go to Filters and then click on uh, Black Card on Screen, and then it will show the first card. Then you go uh, go on White Card on Screen and it shows you the second card. And after that you can press Cards Against Humanity off and it should slide off. And that's how you know it's successfully installed into OBS. All right, and now we're going to actually install the actions into StreamerBot. So you go to your action tab, right click in the white space and then press import. And then you go to your uh, StreamerBot again, uh, cards against humanity folder, go to your StreamerBot install folder. There should be a text file in there and you just drag and drop that file into the import string section. You'll see a couple of actions, but you just press the OK or import button. And everything reopened. Thank you, StreamerBot. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, three actions. One is an automatic, which one uh, will automatically show the black and white card, like uh, automatically. Yeah. And there is also a black redeem, which shows the black card and a white redeem that uh, can be activated with user input. But we're going to install uh, the channel point reward now. So you go to the channel point rewards tab, press add and uh, give it, it a nifty title. Uh, Cards Against Humanity in my case. And a simple text prompt so that uh, uh, the redeemer will see. Play a, ga a, games, uh, play a game of card against humanity. Give it some uh, cost to it. And finally, just give it an action. I'm going to select the automatic action and then press OK. And that should be it. All right. So now we go back to uh, our going to OBS. Go to our channel point redeemables. And you should see Cards Against Humanity, the channel point we just created. Click on it and press redeem. And you should be seeing uh, the black card appearing. 
and within 7 seconds the white card should appear with a nice little answer. Now you have installed the automatic way of showing cards against humanity on your stream. Next up, I'm going to show you uh, how your chat can put in their own answer as a white card. Please note that uh, your chat is your own responsibility and if you have a lot of trolls in your chat, you kind of advise against using this method because chat can be worse than the actual cards against your monthly game. So we're going to the channel point reward step. I already removed the last regime we created. So we're going to create a new redeem now. I'm going to call this uh, cards against humanity shortened uh, to a black card. And we're going to type something over here. Spawn a black card. 111 points. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it black redeem. That's okay. Then we're going to create another one. Card against humanity, white card. And I like to, uh, to type in here something that uh, chat also needs to follow the rules of Twitch. Otherwise, you know, uh, responsibility and stuff. So please abide by Twitch rules and my chat rules. And then we say you enable user input, give it some points, 111, and we're going to disable uh, uh, the enabled tick. And then we're going to select the white card. Now we're going back to uh, the action tab. Over here. And we go to black redeem, and then you see reward set enabled state, unknown disabled. But we're going to uh, disable the black reward after somebody redeemed the black reward. So we're going to uh, go here, reward, and we say cards against humanity, black. State disabled was already there, so I'm going to put OK. So everything's going to run, and then we need to enable the white card. So we're going to click on that, click on white, and you see it's enabled and pressed OK. So uh, after this all is done, the white card is going to be enabled. And we're going to do the same thing with white. So we're going to reward set enable to the white card. We're going to disable it so that it cannot be redeemed another time. And then we're going to enable the black card after all it's been done so that people can redeem the black card again. So as you can see, we have now the cards against humanity black redeem. So it shows up the black card. This is your pilot speaking. Please prepare for and now uh, if we check into our redeems, we see that the cards against humanity white card has been uh, activated. So we're going to send here a, or type here a message, an awesome stream up product. And then we're going to uh, send that to Twitch. And then the white card should pop up with that exact text over there. And now the white card has been disabled and the black card has now been enabled. And that's about it. You have now two ways of showing a game of Cards Against Humanity on your stream. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, you can put them in the comment section down below or join us at the Stream Up Discord. Also, if you like what you saw and you want to see more Stream Up releases in the future, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye! I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.